Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'll be sharing the breakdown of this uh, mushroom donuts creations that I made a couple of days ago. So let's see if I still remember how I created this. So it's a it's a donut shape. It's a torus, and I have these geometry nodes. And I'm using Blender 3.0 geometry nodes branch. So this one is slightly special. It has some features that that's not available in the official. So um, this donut is instancing a bunch of mushroom and each of the mushroom is just a simple plane that's currently hidden. So this is the five different mushrooms that's being scattered. So the one that's actually interesting is the little this all these five little mushroom. But for now let's focusing on these donuts and I have this mushroom that I can randomize. This is just point instance randomized. There's this index and also there's this uh, control over the scaling and point distributions like usual. This is uh, pretty simple to understand with the density control. And I'm joining the geometry with the torus. But what's really interesting is actually this, this guy over here. So we have only five at the moment and let's hide this guy for now the original mushroom is this guy over here so the setup is not that complicated it's just um, like I said it's just a simple plane I started with a plane and I extrude it a couple of times <clears throat> but the plane I think I subdivided it um, I think I could actually subdivide it here or actually no don't worry about it it's just like a plane and I extrude it so I, I can control some of the shapes of this mushroom and when I'm extruding I'm also using the the selection of top faces so, so I'm extruding the top faces a couple of times Sometimes I use inset. Um, <clears throat> there is one parameter that I pipe outside so I can control the height of this mushroom. There's also this inset. I think I can control the shape of the mushroom a little bit. So it's not, it's not, it's not all the same. So I'm extruding just the top face, top face, and this this time I also use the side face. So this is like a, this is kind of nice. It makes the shape of mushroom. Yeah, I think that's nice. And the uh, the distance and the inset. Oops. If it's too much, it doesn't look like mushroom anymore. I just undo that so there is also another extrusion and this time I'm using noise texture so there's I think there's a little bit of variations on the shape of the mushroom here so mushroom is like an, an umbrella right this is the the very basic of mushroom and yeah so that's basically what it is it's just a bunch of extrusions and I try to make it so it's shaped like a mushroom I think it's kind of uh, the basic idea and but you can improve it I'm also actually using material here that seems to be working so each of the mushroom have two materials the, the bottom part the base part just make it uh, orange and all this colorful one it's gonna be different for each mushroom because of the shader so first of all but I have to show you we have two material here and at some point I'm assigning the material so that the material is assigned on the extrusion so this is kind of uh, interesting the shader <clears throat> okay principal shader I 
thing I yeah here this material I'm using some kind of randomizations so I can control the value saturations value and oh yes for the mushroom I'm using Voronoi assign it to the bump yeah so that's what makes the mushroom so we have five different mushroom I can make a duplicate each one of them is still using the same geometry nodes so I can control the height this is really a tall mushroom almost like a tree make another one yeah let's make something that's a bit different special short but really wide this one is tall but also small so if I save this if I look at the mushroom again so this guy the donut mushroom is now have have a lot of new mushrooms so that's basically what it is it's a uh, really simple you need the latest blender experimental for this maybe in the future it's gonna be inside the official but yeah hopefully you find this interesting and useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye